Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Well, it is the venue in which every UFC athlete hopes to one day compete, and we are now ready to go from Madison Square Garden here in New York City. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Finn. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Choi. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Let's go. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Super Boy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, with the overhand. And everything's landing with so much power. And do a work with the jab. Just misses without offense. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Fighter lands a jab.
Just over three minutes to go. Lands to the body there. Nice three points. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Let's work, guys. Back to the hook now. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, nice takedown defense. And now some separation. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh! Just over two minutes to go in the round. doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice straight right, Lance. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, that opened up a cut on his forehead. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Lands a quick jab. Right on the button. Big, big. Oh, nice kick. Under a minute now to go. There it is. Take shot now. Take Able to shot. check that there kick as well. Circling to his right. Relax. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Nice uppercut. <laughs> Slips the punch nicely there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Counterpunch landed there by Choi. Huh. Round two is next. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it, and every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do All it. right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. What a tricky head kick. Nice punch to the head. Able to land a little bit right. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Choi's keeping those feet in perpetual motion, circling to his right now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Well, one got through. That kick was good. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, overhand lands, and that'll leave a mark. End this fight. End it. Work. Hands high. Hands high. Nice jab. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Rips the body there. What a great job getting that kick to the target. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Good straight hand there by Choi. Under two minutes to go. Nice jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh, now starting to show signs of bruising. As effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Under a minute to go. It's worth it. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it, right. and your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, big overhand! Another good stick to the head. Keeping him honest with the jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. <laughs> Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh. Ten minutes yeah, in the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damage and blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Round wow, three of a possible five. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the story. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it. Oh. 
kick to the body now. That one won't land. The Korean Superboy going for the body kick there, but he misses no setup whatsoever there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Choice thigh really starting to show signs of bruising now. That is a deep shade of purple. Good work, guys. Just out of the range with that right hand. Keep your hands up. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Throws that tee. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, he's not a one-legged fighter yet, but that calf starting to show some signs of bruising. If he takes many more, he's not going to be able to move. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. body kick. Hey, he's off balance. Take him down. Here's the shot. Take the shot. Wild swing there. Find it out. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. <laughs> This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Just misses with the jab there. 90 seconds to go. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. One minute now to go on the third. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Choi's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. His work. Good jab there by the champion. Just out of range with that right hook. Final seconds of round three. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, 
nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Fourth go. round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy. Oh, big knee! Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he got him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can bed that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. by the Korean Super Bowl. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Head kick there blocked by Choi. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, connects with the one two. that one swing and a big miss by short oh lands another beautiful strike to the body really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Attack and, cut. Attack and, cut. and the front kick is there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Both guys appeared to land there. Effective jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. That was great head movement. Oh, man. All right, so the upper leg kicks have been a big storyline in this fight, and you got to think at some point he's going to switch stances or make an adjustment, or he's going to lose this fight. He's got to do something, because right now what he's doing has not worked. It's very clear that they did not expect this as part of his opponent's game plan, and he's been a step behind the entire time. Beautiful jab lands. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Under 30 seconds. Beautiful punch to the body. Back out of there. Back out of there now. 
Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Oh, 20 oh. minutes in the can, five to go. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just gonna get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Beautiful shot to the leg. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. And he is back up to his feet. Oh, that looks like some head trauma. Beautiful combination. Fighter blocks a punch. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Out of range with that one. Hands higher, hands higher. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the kick. Back to the feet. Three minutes now to go in this one. I want you to make that cut first now. Lands the kick to the body there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, left hand landed. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Nice kick, yep. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Give me that inside kick to the leg now. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there, but instead it is blocked. Oh, he's wobbling now. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. It's work. Gets up, the question is for how long? So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this earlier. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Productive with the strikes here off his back. Shorey gets back up here. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Oh, he might be out. Ooh, dive 
Diving punch lands. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. He gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. inside the octagon once again here's bruce buffett ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes 26 seconds of round number five declaring the winner by tko and still the undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world the korean super boy du ho chong So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi with another highlight for the